Hello, friends and fellow cultists. All right, uh, Samia asked us to um, join the Shez, and we did. We said yes. Uh, and uh, I was walking along over here somewhere. I uh, there's a it's a danger zone. I don't know what I walked into, but I ended up cr getting uh, right around there. Ended up getting stuck in a lag zone, and it just crashed on me. Sound went all weird, and then it just stopped. So. Uh, be careful of that ledge. I don't know what's over there. Uh, and we were... Yeah, after seeing the tower, that was kind of... I was curious what that was all about. So, so much mountain word here. I can't help but pick it all. Um, after that tower, uh, yeah, I was curious what else was over this way. So we'll just wander around over here and see what we have. Was that something on the ground? No. Okay. Oh, yeah, more mountain wart, though. Oh, that's right. This is what I saw. Was the big bloom sacks from afar. We'll take them. Oh, the tower down there. That's what it was. Yes, let's go see about this tower down at the bottom. And it must be getting close to evening as well. So we kind of need to walk through the middle of this, I feel like. There's definitely some forest for us to explore. But let's go check this tower out while it's evening here. Some bulrushes. Some more mountain wart. Oh, there's the ruins right there. Okay. It all seems, you know, I think you, you travel reasonably slowly and we kind of crisscross back and forth as we find our way. And so the distances sometimes seem farther than they actually are. You think, well, that was just forever. And so now it's actually really close. There's more bloom sacks over there. Well, that's a very nice little shoreline. Yeah, it's going to get... Uh, oh, yeah, 4.30. It's going to turn evening really soon here. So we'll have to grab ourselves some sleep. So I'm excited to explore, I guess once we uh, we'll crash here and then we'll keep going along the island and we'll see what else lies here. What's the easiest path? It doesn't seem that there is one necessarily. Wow, it's a cool building. Ooh, some crates. Well, indeed. So, West Tower. Okay. Oh, I can't really do anything about it, though, can I? Let's go around here. You know, I think we're going to sleep on the bank over here. Now, you pardon me. I'm going to break reality for a moment. And I'm going to... There we go. I had to pull. Oh. There's a, a small mouse that appeared at the bottom of the screen. A small cursor. It's interesting. It's uh, hit and miss when I, when I trigger recording. It always brings up the report a bug menu. Still, it's kind of it went away and then it came back. I don't know, but that's all right. Um. Well, that uh, yeah. I guess the reason the reason I know that is that that's why I my cursor comes up. So I usually drag it off quickly. Okay. Oh, here is... Oh, we've come back around now, the other side. Uh, okay, we finally made it. Sandy Snout Beach. Oh, good old Sandy Snout. Wow. Well, what's, what's down here on Sandy Snout? Is there any more rubbish that's crashed ashore? There's some sticks. We'll take them. Well, that's intriguing. Okay. So that, I don't know what that was all about there. Huh. Nice. Okay, so we're, that's, I like that it's popped us out over here. Oh, there's some crates. Let's take them if we can. We can. Oh, I always love it when we get crates. It's funny, like, I've got so much supplies now, and I don't feel that I, I probably have that much left to do with them. I'm just kind of, like, stockpiling. I'm just hoarding all the stuff now. 
Okay, so I'm not seeing a hot spring around here, but I'm thinking over more towards the middle. What time? Well, 5.47. I'm thinking what I should probably do is throw my tent down, though, and have a little sleep soon. And we still also have to find out about uh, the... Uh, i got to figure out the ghost situation. got to figure that out. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff here. Got all these... Bloom sacks. Did I get? Oh, there was another one. Oh, what is that? See, there's a, ta a light. Is that? No, it's just the way the light is hitting the tower. If that's, oh, I'm I'm confused now. What was that location called? See, what is what is that? What? Oh, West Spring Bluff. Oh, that's the Hot Springs. Okay, Tiffmore Ruins, West Tower, Sandy Snout Beach, West Tower. Quick Hoof Coast. So, the, the tower... Well, you know what? Let's put our... Ah. Oh, come on. I wanted to see the uh, the tower, the abandoned tower. Tower at night. Oh, near old Lido, Lindo. Okay, no, that is, I'm not looking at the right one then. Okay. Okay, so we're going to get this. And then we're going to put our tent down. Because we're going to freeze. Equipment. Tent. There we go. Let's hop on in. Let's have a sleep until morning. What my thought was, was that uh, I was wondering if that other tower was the tower where I needed to find out about something late at night, but I don't think it is. Okay, pack it up. Beautiful, gorgeous day. So there's got to be, aha, there's something here. There's a trail. Let's go check this out. Whoa, mushrooms. Haven't seen these in a while. Nice. Now, I feel like uh, I'm going to see um, a hot spring somewhere in this vicinity. I'm probably missing tons of stuff, too, as I walk. Did you get it? Yeah, I did get it. Oh, hello. What? Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, the jackpot is over here, apparently. Whoa. Okay, so I gotta... They're like, no, 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 you gotta go around. Okay, fine. I will, I will go through the trees. I will whack through the bush here. Oh, hello. What is this gonna say to me? The signage says... Oh, hot spring this way. Sorry, old people. I'm gonna go check out the hot spring first. Hot springs. Oh, yeah. This is what I was hoping to find. Oh, there's somebody here. Hello, friend. Do you mind if I steal your canvas? What's going on, my dude? Well, well. Come to lengthen your life, eh? That's a smart choice. Mm-hmm. These springs. Well, you know about that magic, right? They'll make you live forever. <laughs> Tell me, how old would you guess I am? 400. <laughs> yes, yes, and that's because I'm always here. All day I'm in here so I can live forever. Okay. I'd rather be a little bored and live forever than have some trifling entertainment and die tomorrow. That's a hard, hard worldview. I'll tell you a secret. What? I'm actually 157 years old. Well, well. Yes, I. 157 all. years old. And who knows what else I'll see? Well, hear about because I really can't leave the hot springs. One day I got sick. I felt the tenuous grip of life loosen, and I knew that I'd have to stay in here forever. And you would have to stay here forever. I haven't set a foot outside this spring since then. And wow. Look at me now, 
and 57 years old. <laughs> Man, you must be shriveled. Wow, it's a miracle. <laughs> And you can live forever, too, if you just stick around. Well, I then I have to hang out with you all the time. I'm not I'm sure I want to do that. I'm so glad I found this place. Hmm. Okay. Do we... You should really consider staying here. Okay, you well, you know what? Let's get our vial out. Of yours to grow brittle. And, uh, there we go. Empty vial. Beautiful. Do we still have one more? We must still have one more. How many does it say? We got an empty vial. Drinks. No, I don't want the uh, empty vial and uh, hot spring samples. Four, four hot spring samples. Oh, I need another one, don't I? Let's see, hot spring samples. Oh yeah, and I got that box. Hmm. Oh, we gotta go see Lady Samira about the box at the Tiffmore Bluffs. Right, okay, that was an early one, isn't it? I don't remember who that lady was. Okay, so we've got um, the Elixir of Life. There we go. Uh, five hot springs in E Shade. Okay, we still gotta do that. And. Okay, and we had to finish Old Pops as well. Okay, so let's go down and see the old people here now because they were growing a mountain of stuff. So we should go see if we can uh, say hello, maybe borrow some of that. So at least we found one of the hot springs. So where on earth the last hot spring is, I do not know. But there's lots of stuff on the ground here, so we'll pick it up. Some mushrooms. Okay, and then a mountain of goodies. Oh, we can't take it all though. So this is Tomas's farm. Like uh, I'm, I'm, re I'm rearing to just borrow it all. I like that. I will steal uh, the canvas and bits of board, but you know what? I'm not going to stoop so low as to take their crops. Apparently, hey hen, that's good. I've got scruples. Apparently, I like yeah yeah. I'm going to take your bird. No, I'm gonna take their mushrooms. Well, I wouldn't have been so hungry if I'd had my mushrooms. Sad that stranger took my mushrooms. Strangers always take mushrooms and our candle. <laughs> I'm so sorry, people. Okay, I was also gonna read your notes. Oh, you got a book on the table. A captain's memoir, Clara Stone. Everyone feared I would die on my expedition. I had some sense that this was possible, but no real notion of what death meant. It all felt a bit similar to me at the time. I could remain in Lind Lindau, feeling utterly drained and deprived of life, or explore the world and take on risks or, of capsizing or contracting an undocumented illness. It was not until I grew much older, learned the seas, and met a new eager youngsters that I finally began to understand the dangerous reality of my first mission. I can now see why everyone fretted at my departure. Two of my crewmates passed away on that journey. I returned home after four years and only stayed for a week before setting sail again. My uncle died just three weeks later. I cherish my adventures even more now for the thought that my uncle suffered so dearly for me to live them. I don't regret the journeys I made, but I'm exceedingly grateful to those who loved me and did their best to ensure my safe return. Okay. All right, now it's time. Now we've looted. We've plundered. Hello, stranger. Hello, I've been in your house. Nice, nice to meet you. We're the largest distributor of bloom sacks in the entire world. Wow. My old man was always proud of that. Rest his soul. Bloom sack growers. Hoping my daughter, see these her name, hoping she'll take it up after me. After attending university, of course. No way she'd miss out on the adventures offered by the academy. I just love this old farm. My I just love this old farm. My dad built it from the ground up. I'd hate to be the last one to make use of it. Well, better get back to it. I was just taking inventory of our stores. Ah. Like we're missing They're missing veggies, veggies, too. And I've been finding apple cores everywhere. I've never heard of an animal that just leaves behind the core. And hmm. Cindy hates apples, so it's not her. So somebody snagging fruit. You see anyone sneaking around with a bushel of fruit, all right? Probably the crazy dude nice that job. walks through the bushes. See you. I need to find out some information about his apples. 
Can we go talk to? Oh, we can go talk to his daughter. Oh, the sunlight hey, glitters brightly off the golden sandy shore, and the moonlight twinkles upon the waves till the sun comes out once more. Hey, you ever been to the sea? Yes, we have. I've sailed it. Is that it. right? That's a dream of mine. My dad's cousin, Clara, is a magnificent captain of the seas. Traveled north and south and all around. I'm going to study at the University of Nava and try to join the academy. I've been training for weeks. Hmm. Thank you. Every night I dream about the sea. I know I'll set sail one day. My dad loves... Maybe I could oh, grow sorry. the company. Find a new port I cut you off, see that. You never know. By the way, can I get you a tea? You must be parched. Let's see. I've got bloom sack or mountain wart. Uh, we've... Okay, we know, we'll take a bloom sack. I don't know that we've... Have we had bloom sack tea? Do we know the recipe for that? I'm curious. Oh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, we didn't we didn't know Bloom's the Bloom sack tea. I wonder if I should talk to her and see if we can learn a recipe to that. Okay. Oh maybe this we learn we come rangest thing. Didn't see you. Okay, so we need to find out what happened to his uh, teas. The scene. Beloved father, uncle, and brother. So the original owner of the farm. So I, I think we need to find out a little bit more about this apple thief here. And then once we do, we might uh, we might stumble into um, the maybe a recipe for some bloom sack teas. So we've got some apples there. And lo and behold, a little shack along the shore. Let's see who, who's living down here. They got a nice selection of mountain wart, though. I will help them with that. Oh, is there no one here? No, just bushwhacking. That's all there is. Oh, hello. There are fish here, though, and we are going to catch some of them. Okay, so fish and pole. Okay, see if we can't catch a few of these. Oh yeah. Now these gotta be the, yes, these are thunder trout. So we're gonna catch what we can of these guys because this'll help us catch old pops. Oh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. These things, they, I see they fight a bit. Look, at those, those ones are getting right on the shore. I see. The idea is these ones are supposed to be toughies. Excellent. Well, I'm going to get, yeah, I'm going to get a bunch. Given how uh, we, we, how much difficulty we saw with pops before. Pops didn't seem easy, so we better get a few. Oh. I don't know, like 10, maybe? At least we know where we can get them now. That's the other big, that's the main thing with most of these. Come on. I like that it's like literally like two feet is all you gotta go. It's probably these fish that are like... Oh, and that's probably the end of my bait. How many? So let's ch check out how many we got here. Uh, okay, what do we got? What do we got? Thunder trout, seven. Okay, that's probably enough. I'm tempted. You know what? I'm going to get a couple more because we can just sell them, worst case, right? 
I don't feel like walking back over here, I think. Let's, we'll get ourselves at least 10. Set that fish's bait. Did good with, like, one fish. Come on, fishies. How are they not going after this? You, you guys are kidding, right? It, it's not too deep. And they're not biting. Maybe that's it. Maybe they're, they're done with me for the day. I'll try over there. No, they're not biting now. Is it a time of day thing? I mean, these ones over here, it's another group of them. So I could always get them from the other side, I guess. So that's Kai's shack, I think. Okay, that's fine. So I got to figure out this apple thief. That apple thief situation is a, a head scratcher. So we had the hot springs over there. We have the shack here. Oh, some mushrooms. Don't mind if I do. I guess we can just walk along the shore a little bit. If we can. That's some nice little spots. See, like... Okay, so... Yeah, the... Like, the getting the, the picture of the trees, like... Like, I don't even know. Like, I'm suspecting then... See, so mother wanted a view, um, a giant tree anywhere on the Tiffmore Bluffs. Okay, so the, the issue is we actually got to go up to the Tiffmore Bluffs because we're in the western woodlands. And we can see now the distribution of those hot springs. Oh, the Selt Spring Coast. There is a hot spring down there. Oh, no, we'd seen that one. That's right. Hmm. I don't know about the distribution of these things. It would make sense to me that they're kind of all over the place. Now these apples were like knocked right down to here, which is interesting. Oh yeah, there we go. There's some eaten. There must be some down here. I, I think it's the, the fish are climbing out of the water at night. And uh, consuming it. That would make the most sense to me. Fish with legs. I have no idea. Hmm. I feel like we saw someone walking along here at some point. Oh, hello, broken crates. That I probably don't need. Oh, and this will take me to Old Pops. Well, isn't this just the world is coming round, isn't it? But we're still not sure of... Uh, where exactly the apple thief is. So I'm kind of wondering if we've got to go through the middle of the island there and, and see if we can't find some sort of thing. Now, it's not... It's noon, right? Yes. That's all that's happened. It's noon. Oh. Okay. Let's go try for old pops here now. But we'll use one of the other fish as bait. I'm excited. This might work. That seemed like quite the journey to go uh, get find out about old pops here. Okay. Now let's uh, get our fishing pole. Yeah, there we go. I like it. I like it. So it's, we're setting the, uh, set the trout as bait. Yes, here we go. Here's Old Pops. Old Pops is coming for us. He's going to be a tough one, though, I think. He's a fighter. He's a fighter. That's a foot away from us. Old Pops is on land. Old Pops is under the wharf. Oh, come on, Old Pops.
Yeah, old pops, we got you this time. I got your number. I got your number, old pops. Come here. Come here, you rascal. Okay. There we go. Old pops, you're coming for it. He seems to be stuck in the, the sandbank. This is maybe part of the problem. Okay. Okay, old pops, you're coming for you're coming with me. We got him. I called old pops. He coughed up a ring. I've got the ring now, but should I keep old pops or toss him back? I think we should release old pops. I toss old pops back to the water and he swam away. Oh, that's beautiful. We got old pops. Now we got to go over to the lady over there and give her back that ring. Well, that's fantastic. Old Pops, we got gotcha. you. We got gotcha. you. A bitter... Okay. Wow. Oh, she has a personal vendetta. Catch the fish and retrieve her ring. Okay, that's uh, that's all we needed. That's good. Okay, so you know what? Let's let's go do this. Let's put down a uh, our boat. Where can I put it down? Come on. There we go. Get her, let me put it in the natural place. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm not in my boat anymore? Okay. Aha, I see. Oh no, and it's not... Oop. If I would learn how to put boats down, we would be already sailing. Okay, A is to mount. Seems like a problematic, uh, I put it in a bad place. Let's pack it up. Let's try this again. <laughs> See, it's interesting. Is it, it let me put it on the thing, but not... Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Mount. And now we're off. Okay, we're going to go straight across this way. I love it. We can just travel so quickly now. And next time I can just take some mountain wart tea and then we can end up uh, going right over uh, to where we need to go. We can go get the picture on the bluffs. We can also, uh, like, we got to see if we can find this final hot spring as well. Got to think about where, I got to look at the map and see where we've been and whatnot. I believe this is the old lady right here. I like that we didn't have to travel too far to complete this quest. There we go. Look at this. Beautiful. Day's still uh, with us. Okay, we got your stuff here. We got your, your ring. You found me, my ring traveler? But you didn't bring the old fish. I don't need him, per se. Here, have a few blows. Oh, well, that's... Yeah, I didn't... I thought it was only fair that we... Thank the great we let old Pops. He's survive. a legend. You gotta let old Pops stay out there. Well, it's hard to be sure... What a mean-spirited old fish. You ever hear the tale of how old Pops came to be so grumpy? Uh, I never heard. Ooh, ooh, you're in for a treat. Okay. Well, you see, there was one day old Pops swallowed a bitter frog. Swallowed a bitter frog. Okay. So he swallowed this frog, and the taste was so... Oh, so he just hated it. So he's angry. Pops started thrashing around something terrible. Hmm. There was a boat nearby. And when Old Pops leapt out of the water, he hit it hard. Uh-oh. He capsized that a boat. The boat was knocked over, and the captain was real upset. He was yelling and ended up harpooning the giant fish. Right oh, wow. He the harpooned side. the giant fish. Didn't you notice the I did not notice the, uh, the stagash in the side of Old Pops. So anyhow, Old Pops has been bitter ever since. Well, he's a bitter ever since. since. Okay. I can't believe you survived fetching my ring from him. Well, you know. That old Pops, he's got it out for us all. 
All right. Well, we did it. We got uh, the ring for for her from Old Pops. It's hard to believe that we solved a mystery over there. That seems like forever ago. It's only one in the afternoon, but it's time for us to take a break. Next time, we've got to go and deal with Mother's Last Wishes. I want to get that last painting. Um, we've got to... Uh, yeah, right, Azad, the architect, has gone missing. Um, we got that noise at night. we got to go deal with that, that Shez stuff. Oh, right, and uh, right, we've got to give uh, Lady Samira the box from the caverns. Um, the Elixir of Life, we're still needing one more of the hot springs. So we're getting there. And Tomas's apples. We should really go and figure that one out. But everything else is coming along very well. And we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.